Hey folks, welcome to Set Apart Homestead. This is Travis. Not gonna tell you where I'm at, but as you can tell, it's, well, I guess you can. It just looks like I'm in front of a brick wall of some sort. I am not out in the country. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna tell you. Not in my comfortable surroundings. But I thought I'd go ahead and shoot this video. Um, I want to talk about something. I'm, I'm not even sure yet. I've been thinking about it, about this video of how to, how to make it work. So it, this may just be kind of off the cuff in some ways, although I did do a little bit of mental preparation for it. Situational awareness for civil unrest. And when I say civil unrest, I'm kind of specifically talking about the potential of a looming civil war. Uh, I've talked about it in another video. It's getting a lot of talk uh, lately online. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people are starting to, to kind of wake up to the idea that the situation we have here in the States are, it's kind of going downhill fast. And the potential for some level of civil war to break out here in America is getting pretty high. Um, and so it's something that you and I need to kind of prepare for. So I wanted to talk about that. But First off, I wanted to mention or talk about just the, you know, what it might look like. Um, you know, don't, don't get this idea that, you know, it, well, you'll know that the Civil War has started when you wake up and you turn on the news and they say, newsflash, Civil War has been announced in America. Because I can almost guarantee you it'll never get called that. It'll never get mentioned. It'll just be, you know, radicals. Uh, civil unrest and radicals, things like that. Um, you know, it's, it's, they have a way of twisting it. You guys know that. So they're not going to just get out there and start talking about, oh, we're at civil war. It's an official civil war. Um, and like I said in a past video, I, I don't see, think we're going to see, you know, a bunch of people like we did in the, the last one, you know, standing, you know, opposing sides in the middle of a cornfield firing volleys at each other. You know, I don't think we're going to see that. It's just, you know, could be wrong. But it's not going to happen like that. Um, we're going to see a lot of guerrilla warfare. We're going to probably see things, for at least for a while, seem to be fairly normal, other than a few pockets, you know, here and there spread across the country of violence. Whereas, you know, you'll be able to kind of go to work and go to the grocery store for the most part, you know, with this ever increasing infringement upon your rights. Um, and ever-increasing danger of, you know, of violence that could just happen at any moment. It'll be much like these dystopian-type movies that you've, many of you have probably seen. I can't think of specifically a, a movie that would be like that. I just know that I've, they exist, you know, where, you know, you're kind of sort of normal at a grocery store and, you know, violence kind of erupts around you and you get mugged and robbed and people start firing guns at each other, and, you know, things like that. Uh, you know, and then the stormtroopers come in and, you know, try to start cleaning it up by just shooting everybody. Okay. That's, that's probably going to be more of what you're going to see. Uh, so for those of you that are in urban, and which is where I'm at now, uh, an urban area, uh, or in cities, uh, you know, suburban and, and uh, city areas, uh, you need to be a little bit more in guard. But even those of you that live out in the country, uh, most likely you're going to have to be going into town for, for things just like you do already. Uh, and that's when it could happen. So um, don't think that it's, you know, just going to one day you're just going to wake up and go from being normal to being in this state of some type of civil war. Um, it's probably not going to work out like that. So <clears throat> what you need, what we're going to have to start developing now, if you don't already have it developed in you, uh, this mindset, is a kind of situational awareness for uh, just where you're at. And this is something that you should all have anyways. You should all be working every day. Uh, every day is a training day uh, for developing situational awareness. Um, it, is, it is the one thing that will give you the real edge in any kind of encounter. Um, so, you know, carrying a weapon, of course, is always great. Um, whatever you feel that you can carry, um, I hate, you know, I guess I could say where you're at, what you can legally carry, but if you're somewhere that you can't carry, uh, you know, a firearm, then you probably need to be getting out of that area quickly and finding someplace else to live. Um, but, you know, whatever you carry, that's great. 
it's great, but if you don't have situational awareness, you know, that, that weapon is only as good as the mind that's using it. Uh, your, your mindset is what will win the day, uh, not the weapon. Uh, so, you know, some of the things that, that you can do to kind of train yourself is, number one, everywhere you go, there's a certain baseline. Uh, there's a baseline to, to everything. Um, you know, here I, I'm, I'm in a, a suburban area. I'm not going to tell you where, but I'm in a suburban area, and so I'm looking around. There's some noise. You might be able to hear it. I think a couple of streets over, they're doing some kind of uh, work. I don't know what it is. I can hear saws and stuff going. So there's that noise. You know, occasionally you hear a dog barking, a uh, car going by on the streets, you know, that kind of stuff. So that's, that's your typical noise. Uh, if you're out in the woods, you hear birds. Uh, you hear, you know, little squirrels running around, you hear leaves falling, occasional limb break, maybe a deer running through the woods. Uh, you know, that's kind of the baseline. Uh, if you're in a, a, you know, more urbanized area, you hear cars driving, horns honking, you know, sirens, things like that. Th that's baseline. Uh, so be aware of what your baseline is for where you're at. And, and for most places, you know, a suburban baseline is going to be about the same anywhere. You know, f you know out in the country, forest baseline, uh, you know, inner city baseline is probably going to... So be aware of like the sounds and the, just the normal, you know, how people act. So, so kind of develop that of like, okay, this is a suburban baseline. This is an urban, you know, inner city baseline. So, so get that kind of baseline down and start, you know, developing that of what would be normal. Uh, for where you're at, okay? Then you have to start, once you establish that baseline, then you have to start um, being aware of things that might happen visually and audibly that aren't normal. Um, so uh, I'm in a suburban area in a little neighborhood, nothing fancy, but, you know, decent little middle-class working neighborhood. And... Um, if I heard someone screaming, or I heard a car honking constantly over and over again, uh, or lots of yelling, or maybe gunshots, or something like that, that's not normal. So I should become alerted to that, okay? Uh, now, if I'm out in the country and I hear gunshots, that's not necessarily abnormal. Uh, people out in the country shoot guns often. They may be hunting, they may be target shooting, they may be scaring off a dog out of their garden. So it's, it's not that uncommon. So, you know, a gunshot isn't necessarily going to alert me. Um, so, you know, establish what normal is and then establish what uh, would alert you. Sights and sounds that would alert you. You know, someone jogging down the road and obvious, you know, got their little earphones in and, you know, that's not going to alert me. Someone running that looks like they're in a panic and they're looking over their shoulder and, and they're just, they have this panic look on their face. That's probably going to alert me. Uh, so, so once you establish your baseline for the different areas you're going to be in, start to develop what is, uh, what are the things that will alert you, okay? And once you have those, that, that's kind of set up. Uh, then the next thing is, is to learn to develop to not become kind of stuck in a rut and complacent and, and become focused on things that direct your attention away uh, from being aware. Uh, and one of those that's very popular today is the cell phone, you know, the little, little cell phone device. And you see people, you know, they're walking down the street and they're, they're doing this. And, I mean, you could walk up and knock them over the head and they'd never know what hit them. Uh, don't do that. You know, if you're sitting in your backyard or in your car with the windows rolled up or something, you need to use the phone, that's fine. But, you know, you really should never be walking around out in public like this because you know it's just it's a bad thing so so don't allow yourself to become you know focused on things uh, that will direct your focus away from being aware um, you know reading you know looking staring at just one object um, those are things that will that will deter your awareness level uh, so those are some three things that that you can work on to develop your situational awareness. This is really important, I believe, and it's really important in just every day-to-day -day life. But with this potential, you know, with the ever-increasing potential for violence uh, in our country, and it's already happening, we're already seeing violence breaking out, shootings and uh, assaults and things like that that's happening. And, and as, 
you know, the financial and political and all that, you know, gets going and, you know, food shortages that are already happening, you know, things like that. It's, it's going to get worse. I really believe it's going to get worse. So, so being uh, on your toes, uh, developing that situational awareness is good. So, you know, for instance, as I'm standing here, and like I said, I'm in this, you know, nice little cookie cutter, you know, peaceful neighborhood. Uh, but still, as I'm, as I'm making this video, you know, my eyes are, you know, occasionally looking around. Um, I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening for sounds. Um, and you should do that when you're out in public, when you're ever, you know, away from your safe zone. Uh, be doing that. And even when you're in your safe zone, when you're in your home and the doors are closed and everything's locked, uh, you still need to be listening for things uh, because uh, you never know what, what's going on outside. And don't just go s get so focused on maybe watching the TV that you don't hear, you know, the dogs going crazy outside because there's someone stealing your truck. Um, this is what situational awareness really is. Um, I, I know it's ver I'm, I'm saying this in a very simplified, basic way. Um, but, and there's many of you that are very trained people um, uh, and you've, you've gone through different levels of training like I have, and that's great. But there's a lot of people that have it um, and, and they, they, they want to know, um, you know, how to become aware because so many people aren't. I mean, we, we live, you know, we joke about, you know, I'm, I'm sure many of you do, I do too, you know, about I'm prepping for a zombie apocalypse or something like that. Well, guess what? There's already zombies. Uh, you know, go to any town and go to any department store, or I guess the big box stores, Walmart, you know, Target, grocery store, uh, any place like that, a gas station, convenience stores, go anywhere, anywhere where there's people and there's zombies all over the place because the people are so unaware. I mean, it's like they've, they've, they've made themselves not be observant because they don't want to see people. They don't want to make eye contact. They're afraid someone might talk to them ask them questions, recognize them, ask them for help, for money, you know, things like that. People are afraid and they don't want to, uh, they don't want to engage anymore. It's just how the society that we live in. And then, but the thing is, is that makes them extremely vulnerable. So don't be that way. You know, when you go into a store, you need to be aware, you know, make a quick scan of everything. Anyone that looks strange, weird, out of the ordinary, having strange behavior, uh, you know, looks on their face, anything, you know, bulges in their, you know, clothing, anything like that, you know, m make a mental note of that. Uh, as you're going, as you're shopping, you know, where are the exits? Where are places that you can find, you know, cover or concealment? Um, are there, you know, are there things around that you could use as a potential weapon? You know, things like that. Uh, you go out to eat, uh, you know, you go to the gas station, be aware of where people are at, be aware of how they, you know, they look, how they act. I know that's not always a giveaway. There's people that look weird and suspicious that would never hurt you, but, uh, it's, it's all about being aware of your surroundings. It's all about, uh, you know, that situational awareness of being aware. And, um, I, I still, I, I think that this is going to become very critical for us because, uh, whatever is going to happen, and I'm pretty, f I feel fairly confident we're, we're going to start seeing some, you know, increased action uh, around, you know, probably starting in the, in the big cities, but it could definitely get into the smaller cities in the country. Um, like I said, I don't think you're just going to wake up and hear this big announcement that we're at civil war. We're going to see it just gradually happen. Um, people just gradually, you know, violence outbreaks more so than there are now and so this is where you and i need to kind of step up our game um, because you can't just lock yourself down now um, most of us don't have anywhere near the supply lines to just you know shut yourself down i would encourage you to start considering limiting if it, as it gets worse uh, limiting your you know leaving the home as, as much as possible uh, staying home as much as possible, that type of stuff. Uh, but you you are going to have to go out. Uh, start making a plan. Make a plan with your wife and kids. You know what to do if there's you know an active shooter, if there's an, a violent outbreak, uh, wherever you're at. You know where to go to, how to get back to the vehicle. Um, you know train with that uh, on on those uh, things now with your family. Um, you know I've always had a rule when I go out with the kids, especially when they were little, um, <coughs> that one adult, you know, if we're grocery shopping, one adult has to have their eyes and, and 
on them to own those children at all times so it's not like you know both adults are just kind of you know buying stuff and looking and the kids are just kind of wherever you know it, one adult has to have their eyes on those children at all times and if they're really young they need to have their they need to be in physical contact with them uh, there's too many times that these people are out grocery shopping and someone just sneaks up behind them and walks off with their kids and they turn around and they're like where's my kids you can see security videos of this stuff all over online um, it's just it's gonna get worse folks uh, I believe it will I don't have I'm not the one to make predictions and I'm not to, the one the, the type to you know get everyone afraid of stuff but I do believe that this is gonna happen so start developing uh, your situational awareness now for those of you that already kinda on that game got your game on uh, step it up a little bit and and really understand that things are going to start getting kinda crazy I, I believe it will I believe it will in our lifetime for sure um, and in the next few years I think we're going to start seeing uh, some things happening in our communities and cities that probably none of us have ever seen or thought would ever see uh, in our country before, uh, in the past so anyways remember that uh, remember your baseline uh, and once you establish that uh, figure out what it is, what are some things that would break that baseline, that are out of, uh, you know, above that baseline, uh, that would alert you. And then once you do that, uh, train yourself to not become hyper-focused on something that would draw your attention or your focus away from being alert. Um, that's your three main things to, to get you started on situational awareness. All right, um, that's about all I have for today. Thank you all for watching. Before I end... Uh, many of you know who this is, um, a lady named uh, Jamie Bauer. Uh, they, her and her husband host one of probably the best homesteading channel on YouTube, an American homestead. Uh, she's recently found out she has stage four cancer and she is not doing good at all. So I ask for all of you to remember her in prayer. She needs, needs a lot of it uh, and her whole family, they really do. They've got little kids and everything. So uh, let's remember them in prayer. All right, uh, you folks have a great day. I'll catch you in the next video.